Hey guys, what's going on? I'm MT Birchfield. We are back today with more Pokey MMO, and today we're going to be third gym battle and our second set of PvP battles. So, as a group, we're going to start off. Everybody said hey, by the way. Hello. So we're going to head over here to the third gym. I hope y'all battle with all the trainers because I'm like right at the. I gym. did. I did you not. Did. Oh, I, I did not because it's uh, you got to battle. Uh, what you, you got to do all that stuff with uh, the bad guys. How are you on a bike? Oh wait, you're on the next. So um, there's I part. Guess, you got to do part of the story first. I'll go battle the what you call it. <laughs> and all right. Well, I'm gonna go get this Muna back for Bianca then. I'm, Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and battle the gym leader, and then I'll wait on y'all. We'll do a cutaway. To, wait a second. Uh, so we actually all battle. Was that supposed to go follow? Do what? Get, 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 get. Oh, yeah. I was supposed to go out and follow them. Oh, you don't have to, man. You can do whatever you want. It's your life. It's your life. Yeah, do you want a kick? Uh, uh, which pier? Which pier do I have to go to? This one? Oh, y'all don't know my secret uh, strategy. All right, Naruto, tell us Scout, your secret Scout, you, you got lucky because I over leveled my Flareon and can't use it. So, oh, uh, you jerk. Yes. I'm still probably going to lose. Scout, Scout, please tell me you, you ever leveled something. No, I didn't. Everything's Dang perfect. <laughs> You'll probably beat me, Squad. I doubt that highly, but we'll I find know. out. We will find out. We'll show. Can I use my whole team? Mm -mm. I don't care. I'm going to use Dino, though. <laughs> okay, you can use Dino if I can use my whole team. Use your whole team. Hey, Josh. Josh what? Do you want to use my cake? Do you want my cake? Is it, uh... High enough level? I don't need a keg. Oh my gosh, I gotta go through this whole building now? Hey, it's yeah. Iris. Wait a second. They're still staying here? Do I need to talk to them? It's ISIS. So since we last left There's our Mark. viewers... <laughs> since we last left our viewers, they don't know that apparently... The throne of Scotland, and I'm a Lord Matthew Birchfield from now on. So. All hail Lord Matthew Birchfield of Scotland! The High King and rightful ruler of all oh, the kings of the All love be to Where his righteousness. Where be going now? What are we doing? Go back, <laughs> go back to your, go back to, go back to the gym. There we go, we won go the third the gym. gym badge. It was relatively yeah, easy. We sold the gym. gym Pokemon. Okay, yeah, we see the Pokemon. Wait a second, I lied. Okay. I lied. I lied. I received an insect badge, he won't let me go. I think only one Pokemon. Oh yeah, go back toward the gym, but then come back. You go north a little bit. And here's the gym leader talking to some Team Plasma people. Wait, are you saying we go north to Alaska? Okay. The is on. <laughs> yeah, the race um, is on. So, that is it for my gym battle. Um, I am going to run back over here, heal my Pokemon up, and wait for them. So we're going to do a cutaway right quick for my video. I don't know what AJ is. But um, we'll do a cutaway right quick, and we will be right back with the third or the second <clears throat> PvP battles. Me versus Squash. My dude. Yep. AJ versus Scout. Uh, Scout. Golly, brain Thanks for getting Dylan. my name. <laughs> yeah. Dylan versus Frankie. See you shortly, guys. Okay. Have you talked right. about well, uh, us having a, a person coming in for our bye weeks yet? Oh, are we doing that? Is he? Is he gonna? Yeah, do he's he's in. Like he's in, and he's battling to get here. Is he like, gonna be able to keep up? Who is this person? He's not on right now, but he was on earlier today. I need to add you on. He's a coworker. Matt, if you can keep up, and I can keep up with our work schedules, he should definitely keep up. <laughs> yes. It's not that hard. Not really. Oh, two people are battling in the Pokemon Center. What? Why is it that these seven Sage guys never battle? They just talk for an hour. Uh, I think you can actually battle them in the post game. I 
think they were just really smart people. I don't think you have to be a good Pokemon trainer to be really smart. Oh, dude, this one guy's just... I don't think they're all that smart. <laughs> well, yeah. you don't know what you're talking about. No more than you, jerk. Not what your mom said last night. <laughs> it's a good thing. I'm hoping I beat you, AJ, because I really need to win. Don't worry, you battle Jacob. Yeah. <laughs> I battled Jacob once already and lost. These guys all out. All right, I just beat Team Plasma. All right, guys, I decided to go ahead and cut out me battling the gym trainers uh, just for the sake of time so that uh, I can get the gym battle, me battling Plasma, and the PvP battles in this video, hopefully. So here we are now about to battle the gym trainer real quick and uh, see if we can't get our third gym badge. I actually muted all of them for a minute because they would not stop talking long enough for me to tell y'all all that so uh, we will unmute them as soon as we finish this gym battle so uh, we're gonna go ahead and volt switch out of this <clears throat> I did not heal after battling all the other trainers so hopefully that does not hurt me oh yeah well that that's a great start and uh, I apologize for not being able to read what the seven sages say uh, hopefully I went slow enough for you guys to be able to to read it as you're watching so anyway uh, this is a bad matchup but I was gonna try to hit it with a roar beam but that thing's got some speed apparently oh and it got a critical hit Ooh, we should, as long as he doesn't get a critical hit, I think we can survive another hit, so we're gonna, gonna give it a try, if not, uh, nope, we could not, wow, okay, we're gonna throw Jolteon back in there and hit it with a Volt Switch, and then throw in our Espeon, or, uh, yeah, we're gonna hit with a Volt Switch. So I don't think Pen Missile will kill it unless it hits it five times, and it's not very likely it hits five times. They didn't kill it either. One. Da -da -da. Do we still have Quick Attack? I don't know if we have Quick Attack still or not. Oh, I forgot. That's super effective. Ah, uh, Quick Attack. <laughs> oh, that's not good. I don't know if we're faster either. We're going to throw Eevee in there. Okay, this is uh this is uh, not going nearly as well as I would like to see it go. It avoided the attack. Wow. Yep, we are uh, having a little bit of difficulty. Okay. There we go. That, that should be his strongest Pokemon. That's like his s Pokemon symbol, I guess you would call it. So hopefully... Eevee's not going to be able to do a whole lot against this Dweeble. But uh, we're going to get as much damage off as we can. Alright, that seems to be it. Oh gosh, we're gonna throw Espeon in. We should be faster. Hopefully, we can get a hit on him and take him out. There we go. All right, feeling a little bit better about it. This was way closer than I really wanted. Made some uh, really dumb mistakes. I really didn't feel it was a threat. But anyway. There we go. All right, got our third gym badge. That's the way I thought it would go. I thought I'd like one shot this whole team, but that Levani or however you say it was pretty dang strong. 
Ah, uh, lost. Whatever. L losing to you doesn't bug me because you are amazingly strong. This is the gym badge. You beat me, so it's yours. Here we go. What is this gym badge called? Does it tell you what it's called? Do they have names in this game? No. Nope. Received the insect badge from Burge. Alright. It's incredible. You have three badges. Pokemon at level 30 will obey you. Including traded Pokemon. Because I'm a generous guy. I'll also give you this. Struggle Bug. I don't remember what that does. Uh, Struggle Bug also lowers the special attack of the target that was damaged. I'm the best guy to tell you it's the little things that count. I actually want to look at this. this is, I, uh, struggle Bug. While resting... While resisting the user attacks, the opposing Pokemon, the target special attack is reduced. Um, 50 power. Can Jolteon? He cannot learn it. Okay. Alright. We're going to go... I'm actually going to do a cutaway right here. And uh, when we come back, we'll be doing the PvP battles. We're back, guys, with more Poke MMO. Uh, we're... One first gonna be AJ and uh, Scout, and so y'all go ahead, kick it up. Let's get started with these battles. Kick it up. All right. Kick, kick, kick it up. Kick. It's kick, funny that you would say it kick it. Jacob has no microphone. Jacob. He said, "Hey guys, we're back, and I have no mic." <laughs> All right. So we start this battle. It's gonna be Jolteon versus Hitmon Lee, sports commentator, joined in the studio. To Scout, who is also a coach on the field. Wait, how did you know what Pokemon I was sending out before I sent it out? It already showed them. Oh, right I don't... as soon as the spectate happens, it's like even before yeah. you even send them out. Just kidding. Joining me in the booth today is Squash alongside of. Oh, Blissus what a jerk! <laughs> <laughs> Squash, what do you think about this matchup right here? Right now, we're looking at a numbers game. We've got four versus six. It's looking uh. Like, I, I went against Scout. I went against Scout with three of my Pokemon, and he, like, stalked me, even though some of his Pokemon were under-leveled. It was understandable. Pretty, yeah, it was pretty ridiculous. And here we see an Espeon come in against this Hitmon Lee, but this Hitmon Lee has high attack stats. Oh, Look at that crap. damage. Look wow. at that yeah. damage. But Sounds Espeon's got the speed on him. That's him. right. Oh, Espeon gets the oh. Kim on lead down. Oh. Oh. I'm in a very bad spot right now. That's <laughs> just. I did not expect squash. I did not expect that strength to do that much damage to Espeon. What do you think that's a trick? That Hitmonlee does have a lot of work put into it. I'm seeing a lot more damage come out of it. I'm I'm thinking that it's really statted for it. Like he went in and uh, put the EV training straight into that attack stat. Uh, I've been told he's been doing some work on it. And here comes the Zep Striker. We're going to see if he's got the speed to Too deal with speed. this Espeon. Exactly. So <coughs> Espeon coming back to the party. It looks like, oh, Eevee is hitting the field. Now, interesting to note for AJ. AJ has a Flareon. But due to very, very, very poor planning, he also has a Flareon that's over mm. to the battle. So, <laughs> it seems like... It's giving an advantage right here. But that Eevee just seemed to eat that attack. It didn't seem like it did a whole lot. Here comes Hippotas. Hippotatas. Yes, sir. Hippotatas. Hippotatas. Hippotatas is in the game. Not We're so effective. excited. <laughs> Not very effective of attack here. Eevee, Eevee sits there. There's a sandstorm now on the field. A bite from Eevee. It doesn't look like it did that much. And... Now Hippotataz prepares for a dig. Let's see where AJ's mind's at right now here with Eevee. Apparently somebody's struggling to pick up. <laughs> Eevee outspeeds that Hippotataz, so that attack yes. just ultimately misses which puts him in a bad situation. It's just taking the damage from that sandstorm over and over again. Hippotataz is such a tank. One of the few instances where speed does not play an advantage here with Dig. You would like to go after Hippotataz, but that's it doesn't look like true. that's going to happen. Hippotataz using takedown, and Eevee is down for the count. But a very injured Hippotataz here. Yes. 
Now, Vaporeon comes onto the field. Vaporeon, defensive specialist for AJ, going up against defensive specialist for uh, Scout. Who do you think really is going to be at a disadvantage at this point? Well, definitely Hippotatas. Yeah, exactly. Hippotatas withdraws now, comes in Curlia. Let's see how Vaporeon's going to react. Vaporeon uses Scald. Scald, if you didn't know, can burn the opponent. Burning hot water. Wow! Sandstorm Whoa. still sides. Wow, what that a powerful hurts. Vaporeon that is an absolute beast on this field. It's all going to come down to speed here, whether out Vaporeon. Oh, Ooh. a Curlio withdraw. Here comes Zev Stryka. I hope he doesn't know static. Oh, my God. I don't think it does. I think it has the special attack increasing ability. So a quick attack here from Vaporeon. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Vaporeon coming back to the party. In comes Jolteon, an electric Pokemon. This is going to be an interesting matchup. Jolteon versus Zebstraka with no Pokemon having the clear... Ooh. Thanks, buddy. Oh, what was that? It has Voltasor a Volt Absorb. <laughs> so it increased the special attack of Jolteon with that electric attack. And no damage taken. Pin Missile from Jolteon. Mm. It does mean. little to nothing. A Flame Charge from Zebstraka. Mm. Neat little ability for some reach. And it does a little bit of damage, but also increases Zev's Striker speed, which could be pivotal at this point. Jolteon mm. preparing for battle. They send in anticipation. Mm. Zev Striker here with a quick charge. Flame charge. He's just trying to get that good and shift damage in there because you know, this is probably one of the hardest Pokemon to deal with on his on the opposing team. I mean, he's got some things to deal with the Vaporeon, but this Jolteon, he doesn't necessarily have the abilities that equal to the matchup. He doesn't necessarily have the rock or the uh, the uh, the ground to deal with that electric type. Exactly. So it has to be Zeb Striker that takes care of the opponent's Pokemon. Here comes another Flame Charge. And with that flame charge, Zev Striker's speed rises again. Now, we also have one other important note on the Zev Striker. It oh. is a zebra. So, if anybody... <laughs> and AJ just screwed up. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, he tried to bolt switch, and it rose the Zev Striker's ability to... Oh, Zev Striker knocks out Oh, Jolteon. man. I did not know he had that ability on him. I didn't either. That's, that's good to know. So they wow. both Look, this Espeon, goodbye. Espeon is back in pretty low from the last time. And that Zeb Striker's speed is up there now. It is out of the roof. Here comes a shockwave from Scout. Oh, and Espeon hangs on. If he can get the knockout, it could possibly... And it oh, does! Espeon turns the battle back into a match. Here we go. <laughs> It'd be a match if I had six Pokemon, but I don't, so... The numbers. That sounds like a personal choice. The numbers are going to get me. What? How is it faster? And there it goes. Wow. That makes that makes absolutely. So oh, it's a priority move. Priority move. Vaporeon hits the field. Vaporeon versus oh. Shelter. I have to give Vaporeon the advantage. What do you think uh, here, Squash? I would say so. Um, I mean, Vaporeon does have... Uh, I actually, I'm not 100% I'm not sure. It, it, it does have uh, special type abilities, correct? Oh, I believe so. Shelter using... Oh. An interesting move choice here. Aqua Ring may cancel that Toxic out. Uh, not for long. I mean, Aqua Ring only heals a, a certain percentage per turn, but that that Toxic is going to get worse and worse. It is, it is. Let's see, an Ice Shard, which should be very ineffective versus Vaporeon. And Vaporeon uses Scald, which might equally be ineffective, but could possibly burn the opponent. I mean, oh, oh no! Like and Shelter that is burned. burned. Jeez. That hurt everybody in the stadium. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> that did. That hurt my grandmother's mother. All right, Jake, you're being really loud. <laughs> Go ahead and eat that microphone. I know, right up on it. <laughs> nice shard from Shelter. 
and Vaporeon just tanking all of these hits. That Aqua Ring is really playing to a favor right now, taking a lot of the toll of that Toxic off. While at the same time, it's still dealing more damage than he's recovering, but at the same time, it's also allowing it to continue its battle. Combuskin out on the field versus Vaporeon. Very tough matchup. Combuskin, let's see if it could get a hit off. If not, I think Vaporeon gets... Oh, it does. The Skull. Dead. It may be a one-hit KO. It's a one-hit. And That's it is. It. My goodness. Is it going I to be a, like a... Oh, wow. Oh, if he wow. can hold out for just a little longer, that Vaporeon can't hold on. Has but... Aqua Ring run out already? No. No. no, it doesn't run out, does it? No. Mm -hmm. mm. Curlia back on the field. Vaporeon just too fat for Curlia. Fat. I'm, I may have it now. And one final Pokemon. It comes down to Vaporeon versus Hippotata. Good <laughs> grief. That poison is racking up. I think one more tick of that and it's dead. Maybe so. I'm not, not 100% sure, but we will see what happens here. Hippotata is hitting the field. Let's as long as I'm faster, I should be good. And you should be. No question, I'm dead. Hippotata is a hippo. And a scald, and I believe... There we go. Woo! I was, I was scared. Wow. Oh my gosh. Man, that was a good game, guys. Very good game. Good, good game. Victory goes Ten to minutes. AJ. Ten minute gosh. mark. Yeah. What an amazing <laughs> matchup. We're going to wait for Scout to get back right quick, and then me and Squash will start our battle. I'm actually gonna go heal myself. Turn X you around. <laughs> Turn and look at him and then click on him. No, like turn around, like just turn like that. Yours didn't turn around on my screen. That's turned around on mine. Den, den, den. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, all right, we are back, and me and Squash are gonna go head to head. You want me to send? The yeah, hit me. All right, sending the invite. Three, two, one. I'm nervous. All right, if he'll accept. Squash accepts my challenge. Ooh, melodic. I like oh, it. Oh, bummer in the butthole. That's. <laughs> oh. My Melodic's God. a strong. Pokemon too. And oh, I'm not announcing my own. Somebody oh, else. Yeah. Scouting, AJ. <laughs> yeah, AJ. <laughs> All right. Take the lead. It's a revolving door of Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> it's a revolving door of Pokemon. All right. Yep. All right. It's, it's raw, and here comes Probopass. Oh, Grouch marks. What? Groucho Marks. Groucho Marks. Groucho Marks. Groucho Marks. Let me find out who Groucho Marks is. Groucho Marks is. Mm, I have no idea who Groucho Marks is. Some lame cartoon probably. He's a comedian. Wonder if that hurts. That I, really I, did. Wow. And Flaffy does way more damage than anybody ever thought he would to a rock type. Rock. Wait, was it Rock Steel? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's Rock Steel with Levitate. He... Wait, it has... Oh, it has Levitate. Does it? No, mine does not. Oh, yours does doesn't? It? No. Mm -hmm. I could have sworn it did. This one doesn't. Oh, you got one without Levitate? No. Oh. This one just does not do Levitate. Gotcha. Don't. All right, and what Pokemon will he choose now? And again, in this battle, just like my battle, we're playing a numbers game. As Matt only has four, and Squash has six Pokemon, so he still has five Pokemon to choose from. <laughs> Let's see if Matt can pull off the underdog story like AJ did just earlier. <laughs> I'm wondering. Uh, I'm not really sure. Even though I had Lil six Lit Pokemon, hits the field. If Lilith is not faster, this could be a one-hit KO right here. Yeah. That uh, is a one hit KO. Oh, good yeah. grief. 
I didn't even oh, know. Oh, and it survives. Oh, no. There is some super big things. Hung in. Uh, he burns him, but it's not going to affect Flaffy that much as he's a special attacker, so. Good grief. It's just going to build a little bit of damage coming. each turn. Yeah. And, and a little bit of damage. Yep, there it goes. What is, what is, what's happening ability is that? Power gem? Yeah. It's a rock type oh, move. I did not know this. Flaffy's um leftovers completely negate the burn. Yeah, it yeah, it, it, yeah, it's even. It evens the damage out. It's a rock type move? Yeah, it's a rock type move. Ask you. I'm gonna ask you a question. <laughs> Named not High Dragon. Let's make sure we point that out. Ooh. Yeah, not High Dragon. <laughs> Matt swaps to Croc. No, oh, I kind of think that might have been a mistake, as he could have tried to use his static with Flaffy to take Ooh. down Axew's damage, but he hits it with an Ice Fang, and this could be it I for not High Dragon. Oh, oh, that Axew oh. is strong. Oh, no, it's and gone. One of Matt's strongest Pokemon has just went down. Oh, and we see the Dino hit the field. Dino. Dino? Oh. Oh, no. Oh, and Axew is faster. Wow! Matt, Matt is in serious trouble now. No way. That is insane. No way. They're, okay. they're both first evolution Pokemon, and for those of you who don't know, that Dino is perfectly IV trained as well, and EV trained, I believe. And Axew finally goes down. So are we going to see Bob here? Bob the Builder? No, Bob the Builder. Bob the Builder. Can we kill it? Joltik. Oh, wow. No, a Joltik. Oh. Ah, we're going Galvantula route later on. Okay, interesting development. <laughs> Jake was really amused by that. <laughs> I uh, actually considered a Galvantula in my uh, first team. Oh yeah, that's a rock it. type ability. My uh, yeah, damn. my Still really rolled into Bob that. Here. Yeah, I, I used Garbantula in my very first playthrough of this Hello, game. Hello, my name is Josh, and I play Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> I play Pokemon, yes. Here's the coming in. Bob oh. The on the field. Oh, this is, this is that what is destroys me every time. A fully evolved Pokemon at this stage is insane. Say goodbye to Magby. Yeah, Magby <laughs> is gone. Dead ski. Slap! And that Bob the Builder is so fast. Oh, mm. survive one. That might be GG's. Oh my gosh. Squash's physical burned. attackers are so strong with this team. Oh, he got burned. That is huge for Matt. Even though his Flaffy's almost dead anyway. Yeah, Flaffy's but... dead. That's too late. <laughs> yeah. It's being a, a water type. Yeah. You... Unless Flaffy, like, one hit KOs. Oh, and Flaffy does not go first. Nice that could be slow. it. It's over. That's Game it. GG, Squash. GG's. Oh my gosh, that was an oh, insane right. battle. I was go. so worried. Alrighty, guys, so we are going to have to cut away for a few minutes. Um, Frankie and... What's his name? Dylan? Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> are not here at the moment, uh, so we'll have to cut away and once they get here, and then we will watch their battle. Uh, we will be right back. Hey guys, we're back. AJ had to go, uh, so it's just going to be me, Squash, and uh, Frankie and Dylan here for this battle. So we're going to continue on with our PvP battles for uh, the second week of PvP battles. And Dylan and Frankie are about to go head-to-head. -head. Guys, let's get this match started up. Wait, wait, hang on, hang on. I got to do something. Sorry. Oh my Sorry. gosh. Wait, one second. Oh, if you see that little I, title that says Difa next to Dylan's name, that stands for our team here. I'll show you all right quick. We are the Dingle Fairies. So, <laughs> probably the best name ever. Wait, Frankie, why aren't you wearing your Dingle Fairies tag? I didn't know I could. I didn't know you could either. Is, is it over no. my head? Yeah, it's over yours. Why, why is Frankie... Hold on, I think you're He's in not it. in the team. I wasn't on yeah, when there, there we go. I'm hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll send you an invite. Never mind. Just, just go ahead and start the battle. Start the battle. That's what we're here for. <laughs> we'll do it. All right, I'll, 
I'll send you another one. No, I got it. Okay. <laughs> I, I mean, I was already late. Oh, my yeah, gosh. No, it's fine. We're good. Let's spectate this. Oh, all right. Joining me in studio today is none other than Squash. Squash, we don't have an on-the-field commentator, so we'll have to fill in for that vacancy as well. Today, we're going to be... Oh. Going in on the battle of Gigalith and Larvitar. So, what do you Squash think about this? Back and forth. <laughs> yeah, Squash, what do you think about this matchup? I have no earthly idea. All I know is I'm here to take notes. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. So, a, a bite from Larvitar, not a whole lot. A rock blast from Gigalith, still not a whole lot. Hit three times. So, oh wow, it is a whole lot. Never mind. Um, the sandstorm continues to rage. As I look at Larvitar, I'm really keying in on the fact that it has a tail that looks like a blooming onion, and I'm really hungry. You cut out there, Matt, yeah. but I'm thinking yeah, you yeah, said yeah. A, a porcupine. No, I said a blooming a onion. A blooming oh. onion. Those yes. are rather delicious fruit. Um, if anybody in the comment section understands why my mic is cutting out on the Discord, please let me know immediately. <laughs> I don't know why it does that. Oh my gosh, here we go. Dave comes in to fight Gigalith. Dave the Gyarados looking angry as ever. Dave! <laughs> Hits an Intimidate, lowering the attack of Gigalith. Uh-oh, a physical waterfall. Super effective. Ooh, close to a knockout. A rock blast here from Gigalith. Oh my gosh. Goodness gracious. Oh my gosh. I didn't know rock was super effective against Gyarados. Yeah, oh, I forgot about that. Oh my gosh. Zeb Strika out on the field versus Gigalith. <laughs> you broke up really bad, Dylan. Zeb Strika using Flame Charge. I forgot to give it the Earthquake. <laughs> and it's not very effective. Wow. What is? What have you fed this Gigalith, dude? Uh, I don't think he's even properly used it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, he's only got 30 EVs and defense. Oh my gosh. So we go now down live to where Squash has run onto the field. Squash, what are you seeing down there? A plus B equals C. <laughs> what? I see these Pokemon down here and they're fighting and I can't even take notes. <laughs> what? Okay. Um, Everything is going on so fast. Zeb Strike up versus Hurtier. Yes, versus Hurtier. This is sure to be an interesting matchup. Zeb Strike up with the speed advantage using Spark. It'll nail Hurtier, not Heldier, as Dylan calls it. Oh, Hurtier takes some damage. So does Zeb Strike. It seems like Zeb Strike has the combat advantage here, but with that lack of health, it could end up hurting him. Another Spark, a bite from Hurtier, and that is it for Zeb Strike. We'll see here what Frankie has. Oh, and in comes Magby versus Hurtier. This should be an interesting matchup. Squash, you're struggling today, man. Uh -huh. Oh, an overheat. I am actually breathing heavily from all this riding that I'm having to do so fast. <laughs> Are you writing down notes? I am taking every note that I possibly can get. Because okay. this is the only way that I've done so good in my last couple of battles. All right. If you didn't know, Squash defeated me earlier in uh, the PvP battles. All right. A dig. Magby misses with its attack. Kevin the Durant underneath the ground. He uses dig on Magby. Ooh, that's not going to bode well for Magby. If he can survive it. Oh, not and barely. Close. Kevin affected by flame body again. <laughs> And it happens once again. In comes your mask. Ooh, your Ooh mask. an interesting matchup. I don't know how Frankie tends to play this. Kevin using Crunch. It's super effective. He uses a Hex. I don't know what Hex does. Can anybody elaborate? It doubles damage. It doubles hex, damage. When it doubles. Hurting. Yeah, whenever he's got a negative effect on him that's uh, non-volatile, then it is... Oh, and a crunch from Kevin. This could be it. GG's, guys. So, Dylan has beaten Frankie. And that ends our PvP battles for week two. Uh, good games, guys. Good games all around. Good game to you, Squash, even though, you know, I, I hate you. you. Lost. 
Yeah, don't talk about it. Anyways, so we're going to end the video off right there. We're gonna, I guess we're all going to run up here. I'm not sure. Well, um, come battle me again. Get back up here. I'm going to show you what's, what's what. All we're right. not going to battle again until it's the playoffs. So if you guys enjoyed the video... If you guys enjoyed the video, <laughs> drop a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you're on AJ's video, go to MT Birchfield's channel. Drop a like. Subscribe to it. It's a pretty awesome channel. You'll love it much better than that Meet Me at the Cross guy. I'm joking, AJ. And we will see you next time, guys. Everybody say bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye.